the iPhone 15 Pro Max, one of the latest, greatest camera phones. Takes 4K HDR video, which is quite stunning. But I think we're gonna slip into something a little more retro. Ah uh, yes, the TX10. One of my favorite cameras I've ever used on this channel, along with the T900. So let's take it out on an adventure. I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Let's stop and get some food. All right, we got two six-piece chicken nuggets here. Each of these uh, six pieces is about a little over 250 calories. So I'm eating under 600 calories for this lunch. They're out of barbecue sauce. So we're gonna dip these in honey mustard. Before we eat them, look at this golden, tasty goodness. We're going to see how these taste now. Let's dip it in the honey mustard. And now we're going to take a bite. Delicious as always. Now, let's go ride some elevators. Hmm, I wonder if this looks familiar. All right, this is one of Park Roanoke's most underappreciated elevators, the center in the square elevator. And this is a Relay Logic Dover Trash. We'll go up to the fifth floor now. Here we go. It has some very interesting logic. Now let's go back down to one. We'll get a cab view while we're down here. And unfortunately, all the numbers are burned out. There's the buttons. So we'll take one more ride. Here we go. White Palace is having a hard time with that window. <laughs> All right, now we'll go back down to one, and that'll be it. This elevator runs incredibly well for what it is. There it goes. And I think we maybe need to go to the Market Square walkway. All right, people, here we are at the Market Square walkway. Let's go inside.
All right, there's the elevator. But since Elevate Tours is all about being healthy, we're gonna run up the steps first. All right, there it is. Let's go down to one. The doors will sit open forever, which gives us time to get a cab view. Apart from this door timer, the elevator runs fantastic. While we're waiting, there goes a train. Two hours later. Finally. And this brings us to our final destination. That's right, the beautiful Hotel Roanoke. It has been a long time since we filmed here. And these elevators, as you can see, have been upgraded. Wow, they did a good job on this cab. And I always come in on the wrong side. Let's go to S. S level. Going up. Go up to six. Door close button works. Sixth floor. Career six. Going down. For the third time, let's try to go back down to S. They did a beautiful, beautiful job on these elevator cabs. I love the CJ Anderson buttons. S. Now let's go back up to the lobby. This is an Otis mod. Lobby level. I like the voice. Here we are in the lobby. Now watch this. Now this elevator over here is actually not being decommissioned. This elevator is actually being 
modernized. All right, this is elevator number two, and the car that my buttons came from. Go up to seven. Now we're going to go back to the lobby. As you can see, they did a beautiful job on this renovation. And I absolutely love these C.J. Anderson buttons. We are not going back down to S because these things are incredibly busy. This is the beautiful Hotel Roanoke's lobby. They did a great job on this elevator mod. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, now that was a fun adventure. I just love shooting with my old Digicams. Now, where did my TX-10 go? I just had the thing. Where's, oh, there it is. It's sitting over there. Hi, guys. I must say, what a fun time that was. There is just something so nostalgic about using these old, now archaic digicams. And I'm going to tell you something. These things are becoming very popular, especially among Gen Z. Specifically, these older cameras with CCD sensors, which unfortunately this TX-10 does not have. It still has a CMOS sensor. I think the reason that people like me and so many others are starting to become attached to our older cameras is it's not so much the camera itself, but the memories we made with the camera. Cause your keys, your wallet, stuff like that is always on you, but it's like in your pocket, it's put away. You don't really make any memories with those. Whereas your camera, the camera has like a totally human element to it. It's an inanimate object, yes. Your camera is the one thing that's there when you're making your special memories. The wedding, newborn births, birthday parties, Christmas, vacation, and in my case, elevators. This Sony Cybershot TX-10 that I'm talking to you guys through right now, I have made so many memories with. It's got so many battle scars from being dropped, smashed, used, and it's held up. I don't think it's so much the camera itself, the memories that I've made with this camera, and every time I pick it up and use it, I'm just taken back to those memories. If you have an old drawer where you may have stored away one of these old digital cameras, Take it out, dust it off, try to charge it up. Go out and make some memories. Another lure of these Digicams is you don't get the instant gratification out of them you get like with a cell phone. You get a little preview on a teeny screen. You have to wait till you get to your computer to be able to do anything with that image. You're not connected. You're actually thinking about the photo or video you're taking. It's not about, let's snap this and put it on Instagram. It's like, let's snap this and then we get to enjoy it later. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. And remember, Diesel Ducey is a real live train engine. And yes, I got on eBay and I've bought some more vintage digital cameras. I plan on doing more of a review style in the videos of the cameras I bought. But these old cameras such as the T1, the TX100V, the T900, this camera, the ones that I actually own, oh, we're going to be seeing them come out from time to time. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video. Do you want me to do more like it? Because I sure had a lot of fun shooting it. With that being said, until next time, bye y'all. And now it's time for the classic Diesel DC lens cover snap. The video's over. Oh, but it doesn't have to be. I figured if you were able to sit through that little speech of mine, you should be treated to another elevator on the TX-10. We're going to ride the Schindler 330A here in my building. This thing actually has a pretty nice motor.
coat of four. Here we're at four, now we'll go back down to one. There, now this time for real, the video is over. Hope you all enjoyed watching it and that will be it. Uh oh, the video's over, but it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more and you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe and light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.